Welcome back one and all to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph. This place seems like it goes on forever. My father sure gave us a real humdinger of a job to deal with. That well, I'm sure we must be getting close now. Thank you, Penny, everyone. Anyway, last time we had done some busy work and started tracking down a monster <laughs> in the Underport. Laura, who hit level 38. Single level, okay. And we're gonna see the gimmick of having to drain water again. Apparently, swimming lessons are useless. Come on, let's. I don't feel comfortable with my cursor hanging over my audio track because I don't want it to get erased. It's one of the big things again. A challenging foe. We should engage it with care. Mini boss. Done. An A plus outcome. Both of them at level 38. Treasure. That's what this is. Leg breaker. That has me curious. Uh. Oh wow. Increases enemy movement. Well, there's the trap chest. Level up. All right. He's at level thirty nine now. Good. I still think those levers need to be need to stand out just a tad bit more. Okay, I know this is gonna be the trapped chest. Huh? Is that a treasure chest? Yes. And monsters. Bring it on. Enemies ahead! Oh, just these things? Okay. Look at 
doesn't seem like that big a deal, honestly. Here. My turn. All right, let's do this. Understood. Give it up, everyone. My turn. My turn. My turn. Not wasting the S break here. My turn. See it. There's a performance just for you. Seven Rhapsody. You've been a wonderful audience. Okay, it's safe for now. <laughs> I've only Tauros, that better be good. At least I have means to get combat points back up. Right, let's do that real quick. I'll cut back when I have everyone where I want them to be. An A plus outcome. Machia's got to level up in this. That one looks annoying. Watch out. We're back where we were, and I got everyone's combat points back up. 
So it looks like a crocodile type monster. Sewer Gator, let's do it. A worthy adversary. Go. Okay, first things first. All right, let's do this. Leave it to me. It. Okay. Now normally I have you set up, but. Zero arts don't pop up very often. Keep it Everyone's up, everyone! Defense is up. Right! Ta My turn! Little guys first. Because they're annoying. Right. For confirmed kill. She's slow. My turn. Time for the escort. This is a performance just for you. Get a second attack, that's hardly fair. I'll handle it. Now, Laura, let's go. Understood. Here we go. <laughs> Thanks. My turn. You still have a lot of training to do. Success! That went well. Aside from Elliot getting knocked the fuck out. Machias back in. Don't want him feeling left out now. That one looks annoying. Watch out. <gasps> Oh, 
I've tried to avoid unnecessary fights on my way back. Just because that would be a rather annoying, just all the cuts. Uh, something's coming up. Slight breeze in the air. Another secret passage. So... Oh, there's more treasure and more monsters. You know, 2,000 steps realistically isn't a lot. Hell, I walk more than that every day on. at work. My turn. Right, so I work in a warehouse. A probably has something to do with it. Gotcha. Right. How about this? Okay. Oh no, I don't need art. <laughs> I guarantee you're gonna go for an insta kill art, and I don't need that. Dark matter. I was it killed B, damn it. Of course. You're not doing that again. In fact, fuck your turn. She's slow. I'm Please fucking your shit right, right up. Right. You piss me off. You do not hurt that girl. You understand it? You do not hurt me. You're the treasure that must be protected. That's the power of the eight leaves. You understand me? Challenging foe. We should engage it with care. They're not that challenging, realistically speaking. Someone got a level. Right. Elliot's at level 40. Good. Great for him. My treasure is. Celestial Bomb. Okay, always good to have the heals. Let's try to avoid fights for right now. Good. It's treasure, though. I like treasure. So hopefully, it's not a trap chest. Oh, a treasure chest! It's not. Good. La Fortune. I don't know what that does. Oh, there's the exit. <gasps> We're finally there. Can I please use the healing station? Oh, and now I'm back in the OSC district. That's what that led.
Yeah. here anyway. Now this one's been going for like 40 minutes now. Awesome. Dogs? Okay. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, so you like a humble life, so there's nothing wrong with humble living. Ooh, there's a photo. Oh, that. Let me guess, you're the dead mother. Aww, look at cute little Machias there. He looks like he had such a sweet disposition. It seems as though all the children in their youth, all the classmates in their youth look adorable. Fee just looks adorable to begin with. Yeah, before he grew up to be a stubborn old nag. Thank you, Fee, and there's a reason I gave you cat ears, because you look adorable with them. Stop nitpicking people's old family photos! <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> the governor looks the same as ever, though. Is that woman next to him your older sister or something? Close enough. She was a cousin on my father's side of the family. Since she lived quite close, she often came to visit. Oh, that's your cousin. Our family was just my father and I, so having her around was a big help. The way you speak about her seems to imply you no longer see her. Did she get married and move away? Sore subject. She died. Yeah, I called it. Around <sighs> six years ago. Jesus, why does everyone in this game have dead parents or dead family members? Seriously, everyone in this game has a dead family member. It's fucking depressing. Oh. I see. And that has something to do with why you hate the nobility, right? <laughs> so... I never really planned on telling anyone about this. But considering all we've been through, I suppose it's time I told you a little more about me. It's a long story, but would you hear me out? Uh, of course. Hmm. Absolutely. Glad to. Thanks. Sis was nine years my senior. Beautiful, kind, to me, she was in every sense the ideal woman. She my, She was basically your sister. Now, as I said earlier, we're a family of commoners through and through. But my father proved to be a very capable government official. And eventually he was promoted to an important government position where he started to make a name for himself. Honesty and integrity are a core part of his work ethic. So of course he made his fair share of enemies. But after seeing success in a number of major projects, he gained a reputation both inside and outside the government. My mother died when I was still young. Of course! But Sis happened to live around here and ended up helping us in more ways than I can count. Since she was his niece, my father always made a fuss over her. And even though she didn't live in the same house, she was like a real sister to me, and a real daughter to my father. I was always so proud of her. As a child, she was practically my idol. 
as you'd expect, she had countless admirers among the men of the city. But for all her popularity, she was always level-headed and sensible. So I never felt I had anything to worry about. Until he appeared. He was one of my father's subordinates at City Hall. Though unlike him, he was a noble by birth. A man of high rank, too. The heir of a count. However, he had none of the arrogance or haughtiness one usually associates with the nobility. When I met him myself, he came across as an honest and loyal man. He met Sis when Dad introduced him to her one day. And eventually, the two of them fell in love and began a relationship, despite the difference in their social status. As a child, I was frustrated beyond words. Jealousy. But even I had to admit that the two of them made a good couple. And Sis seemed so happy when she was with him that I had no choice but to let it go and accept their relationship. Time went on and they became engaged with Dad acting as the go-between. And that's when everything started to fall apart. His family couldn't have been more blatant in their attempts to undermine the relationship. Apparently, one of the four great houses, House Cayenne, proposed an arranged marriage on short notice. And the Count's family were up in arms at the thought he might choose to take a mere commoner as his wife. Since my father held an important post, they were limited in how shamelessly they could try to sabotage the marriage. But they began to harass and threaten her in secret every way they could think of. It made her life a living hell. Please don't tell me this is going where I think it's going. Maybe she didn't want to cause trouble for the man she loved, or perhaps she did it out of consideration for my father. Please don't tell me this is going where I think it's going. But all that time, she chose to endure it alone. She never discussed it or asked for help. Please tell me it's just illness. Please tell me she didn't take her own life. And finally, it became so crushing that she took her own life. God damn it! <laughs> it was only afterward that my father and I learned what had really happened. It seems that at the very last, he had chosen to betray her love for him. But I told her, he said. I told her I'd treasure her as my mistress instead if she'd just accept that we couldn't be married. I... I just don't understand it. Why would she take her own life? After that, my father seemed to redouble his efforts. It was like watching a machine kick into high gear. With the help of his ally, Chancellor Osborne, he was able to wrest control of City Hall from the noble faction. Then, four years ago, he was appointed to his current position as governor of Heimdall. And that's how the Regnitz family came to be where it is. I don't even know what to say. <sighs> so that's why you started hating nobles? I don't blame him! Yeah. I was so furious at Sis's death. My hatred needed to be directed at someone. Anyone. How about the house Cayenne? They were the ones responsible. Well, first I blamed her fiancé. Then his family. Then the family of the Duke who tried to intervene. In the end, I just hated the nobility as a whole. The people, their culture, the entire idea of social classes. I desperately wanted the strength to win against them. To show how right I was. How wrong they were. But deep down, I knew the truth about my hate. I knew I was taking out my anger on people who didn't deserve it. People who had done nothing wrong. Although there are some pretty stuffy nobles. I'm looking at you, Patrick. You... did? Take it out on Heist House Cayenne! <laughs> They may be from different social classes, but people are still individuals. Sis's fiancé was faithful to her. He just wasn't strong enough to shield her from all that ugliness, despite his love. And the Count and his family were only acting in their best interests, which is to be expected, really. That doesn't excuse their behavior. Ultimately, I've had to acknowledge that not all commoners are good people, and not all nobles are unworthy of respect. Eusis might not have done much to change my opinion. 
but getting to know you two showed me that there are nobles who live up to that name. Machias. I have no idea how my father feels about all of this, but this is how I've come to feel. I see. You have my thanks. I'm glad you felt you could talk to us about it. <laughs> Why must this game make my stone heart feel? <laughs> Still, I don't think it hurt to be a bit more honest with yourself. If you're willing to admit all of that, maybe you can find it in you to be friends with Yusis too. Are you kidding me? I might accept that not all nobles are bad, but that arrogant, self-centered fool can go choke on a palm. <laughs> I wouldn't... Okay, I would consider him arrogant, but he doesn't seem self-centered. He seems more indifferent. He's mocking me for spending so much time studying or telling me I need to get out more. Uh, I think he actually cares about your mental health. I don't think he goes quite that far. Besides, I don't think he does it on purpose. He doesn't mean any harm. That's the most irritating part! He does it without thinking! He's probably thinking of your mental health. It's not good to stay cooped up all day, and this is coming from a guy who's been recording for two hours straight right now. <sighs> well, that was a good coffee break, wouldn't you say? Machias can now use the S-Craft ultimate shot. Okay! Good! Machias has his S-Craft now. Hello there, Reem. Carl! Okay. Burglary, let's go investigate that. Next time, though! Has that been going for close to an hour? It's a bunch of you material. That's a good thing. I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I investigate a robbery at a jewelry store. But until then, I am Dark Sir, signing off.